Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on IKEA handles here. So we have a join chain right now. Before going into the IKEA handles, I would like to talk about uh, what if there is no IKEA handle. Generally to pose any joint, we have to select that joint and then just orient it or rotate it. And then you can able to pose that particular characters, a limb, okay? So po for posing every time rotating these joints can be quite challenging, especially when you have to make the characters stay on the ground while the joint on the ground is the lowest part of the hierarchy, which means let's say if I have to bend the leg, you know, and I should make this leg stick to the ground, I have to do this. I have to rotate this. Okay. I have to rotate this and then rotate this. And then I have to move it there to pose it for the bending. And, uh, you see if i have got the animation thing so i need to select all the joints and i'm going to do a set key okay and then i go further frames uh, maybe 10 frames later and i want to pose it exactly here so i need to take help of a locator okay and i'm going to place that locator there now i'm going to rotate this joint and then i have to move it so that I can, you know, place a joint exactly there. So I'm hitting a set key. I should be able to see there's a problem even though I did that much of, you know, hard work. So this is where uh, eye candles come into the picture and they're the lifesaver, I could say. So I'm going to uh, break the connections, which will generally remove the keyframe animation. And, I'm, and uh, you know, when we are posing a character just by rotating the joint, so I've rotated the parent joint, then later I'm rotating the child, then down and down. So I'm controlling this hierarchy from the top node to the lowest node of the hierarchy, which is basically forward kinematics. Let's say if I'm going to use the IK handle, okay, uh, defaultly you have two solvers only in your computer, single chain solver and rotate plane solver. I brought spring solver also. I just uh, ran a command and then that gave me the spring solver. So I'll tell you the spring solver uh, in a while, but let's start with a default uh, solver, which is a rotate plane solver. Okay. So I'm just clicking that first joint, which is the parent. And I'm going to choose this joint, which makes up this. So uh, this brings up the IK handle here. So this is the joint of the IK handle chain, which is the top joint. And then we got a IK Mm, I can handle ending up there. Okay. I, I can just select that IKEA handle and you drag it. Uh, only I can handle get selected. And uh, the reason is um, there's a selection priority given to it. Let's say if you have uh, uh, a polygon model and uh, let's create a light. You have a lot of objects. When you drag select the scene, your only I can is selected because that's a priority given to the I can handle. But this can sometimes create problem in selecting the other things. In that case, you can switch this option off and then that eye candle is no more in selection. And the next priority goes to the joints. Again, you're not selecting the polygon mesh there. Okay. Then you can switch off that too. And then you can select the rest of the things which doesn't have the priority selections. So let's put that both back and then let's delete the light. So when I'm actually selecting the IKEA handle and I'm moving it, I'm able to pose that leg and the best part is if i have to bend the knee i can select this joint and then just drag it like that okay let me select the ikea handle open attribute editor and then try stickiness and then move it and then you should be able to see that joint is staying where it should stay okay uh, generally we don't rely on stickiness like that but uh, we have controls we create controls and then the ikea handle stays there okay so for now as i'm not creating the uh, rig control so i've kept stickiness and you should be able to see that joint is staying where it should be i'll just uh, select the control and then give a orient constraint that should actually keep it quiet i should be able to see that uh, leg is staying where it should stay okay so why uh, this leg is no more moving because i said the orientation of the joint should be not free it should be under control so i've selected a locator Okay. And I said, if I rotate the locator, then only the joint should rotate. 
that happens because of the orient constraint so when i move that the joint doesn't rotate because the locator is the boss there okay so now you should able to see i can easily bend the character without affecting the lower part of the leg so i can handles in this case is a great help for us so right now i've selected a ikea handle as you could see there is a circle there and there's a pointer and this circle is basically a rotate plane and this circle has got a pointer which can be controlled using the pole vector so i'm holding control and just clicking in the uh, in the box and dragging it this box works like a slider now generally uh, you can't use a slider here so i have to enter manually uh, the values okay but you want to get that slider effect just hold control and just click and drag it like that and you should able to see the knee is um, you know flipping on both sides it's like uh, you want to sway the uh, knee then you can use this uh, pole vector attribute again so to take control over the pole vector we uh, not every time we don't use this pole vector values we use uh, controls i'm going to take a locator and then i'm going to snap it here and move it there and then choose a freeze transformation attribute i'm going to select this two things and i'm going to apply pole vector constraint i should able to see that pole vector is now controlled by uh, ik uh, a control which means i can select that locator move it and the knee is uh, moved on both sides okay so ik handles are used on limbs hands legs or anything which is mechanical also which you know bends like this so let's create a ik uh, single chain solver so i need to change it to single chain and then when i just click it then you should able to see um, there is no rotate plane after i selected the ik handle okay so i'm going to select that and move it and it behaves very similar the only difference here is uh, you don't have that uh, pole vector options uh, for the ik handle that's the difference between rp solver and the single chain solver whenever you want the knee control then you choose rp solver if not single chain solver would do but the next important thing uh, in ik handle is we have this option called ik blend so ik blend is used uh, in the case of if you do i mean when we do animation uh, for the hands or legs sometimes uh, the animator might say okay i don't want the the limbs to be controlled with uh, I can handle. I want to do forward kinematics. Sir. I just wanted to rotate the joints and control. I don't want I can handle anymore. I mean, it is for the fraction of time. Let's say he's animating first to ten frames. He is walking. Then he wants I can handle. Then he jumps up and then swinging to a bar. And then he wants the legs to be animated in FK. Then he might expect switching of uh, the I K to F K. In that case. they might use this ik blend option you can make this value zero and then your ik handle is no more on control you can actually now pose your character with your uh, joints orientation if you switch this value on and then you should able to see the ik handle works so ik fk switch is what i'm talking about so you can generally use this ik blend option okay so sc solver means single chain solver rp solver means rotate plane solver uh, it solves the ik uh, movements okay that's what it is a solver is now the next thing is i've got a uh, ik spring solver i brought it just by writing a command here just type ik then uh, spring then solver okay and you should able to see the spelling of it ik is a small letter spring s is a capital letter solver s is a capital letter okay now once you have that just execute the command and ik spring solver is created now if you just go to the skeleton i'm going to create joints i come to the front view and uh, let me change the background color and i'm going to create joints there okay so i've just created this joint chain here i'm going to duplicate it and then move it down okay so let me create a ik handle and i'm going to choose the rp solver okay and then i'm going to move it here i'm going to create a spring solver okay 
now when i select both of them and move uh, you should be able to see the the difference in the movement there uh, you know what uh, is happening in the spring solver spring solver is uh, committed to rotate these joints equally okay they don't i mean if you see this joint is more oriented that's why there's a lift here and there's normal orientation here okay so there's a lift in the center joints okay if you want uh, again it is more mechanical um or anything anywhere if you if you want uh, the uniform orientation in the joint chain then use the spring solver okay so if you select the ik spring solver and open the attribute editor you have this option uh, that is um there is some bias value here i mean uh, there are five points 1 2 3 4 5 and then let's say if i increase uh, the values here for i mean these five points represents uh, five joints okay so i said the first two joints have higher value and the last two joints have lower value now when i pause this you should be able to see uh, the first joint has got bigger rotation that's why the first joints closed way quick than the last two joints because the orientation is lagging there and this angle difference can be seen at this joint or this joint okay in this there's angle and this there is angle and the difference can be clearly seen here in the first joints in comparison with the last few joints there